Hear ye, hear ye. Court is now in session. All rise for the Honorable Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Yo, yo, Brooklyn's in the house, and I'm the bench. My story to tell starts at Cornell. Met Martin Ginsburg, I married well. I was one of nine women at Harvard Law. Didn't complain about sexism I saw. Cared for a sick husband, baby daughter too. Made top grades in the law review. Finished at Columbia, top of my class. All ready to practice legal whoop ass. But lady lawyers couldn't get work. Served my time as an underpaid clerk. Professor at Rutgers Law School came next. Taught cases about discrimination by sex. Had to hide my pregnancy to keep my position. Then came a major life transition. My husband found a case in 72. Before the 10th circuit, I did argue. Against sex discrimination, we took a stand. Ironically, my first client was a man. Equal protection under the law. Nothing less and nothing more. This was my stand, what I fought for. Equal protection under the law. Co-founded Women's Rights Projects in 72. Led as Projects Council for the ACLU. Argued six cases before the Supreme Court. Won five out of six if you're keeping score. Not bad for a lady lawyer. I argued military women should be allowed the same benefits with which men were endowed. When I wrote the brief for Reed versus Reed, I made my case and the court agreed. Sterilized women was my next battle. Poor women forced to surgeries were treated like chattel. I fought against laws based on false standards. In Carolina versus Cox, a fair verdict was rendered. protection under the law nothing less and nothing more this was my stand what i fought for equal protection under the law in the 70s i served on many boards the american bar the council of law in 1980 came my next big deal i became judge of the u.s court of appeals then the supreme court had a vacancy President Clinton nominated me graciously. The Senate confirmed me 96 to 3 on August 10th, 1993. Could you believe that? 96 to 3? My BFF was Justice Scalia. Though we had opposite opinions and genitalia, about us Derek Wang wrote an opera. Different points of view from the same era. I stand proudly with Sandra Day O'Connor, Elena Kagan and Sonia Sotomayor. These legal pillars stood for protection for all, but due diligence and dissent are a part of our call. Equal protection under the law, nothing less and nothing more. This was my stand, what I fought for. Equal protection under the law.